perfume starts to get low I don't like to touch it for some reason because I probably won't buy it again only thing that I ever bought repeats of is this baby can you see it's my absolute favorite perfume and there's nothing left in there so I need to go through this um, but I need to go get some more but I'm not going to waste it I'm going to work today I think, that, hmm, I think I'll do some papyrus let's see um, wait, where's this other dossier? I'm using these like crazy. So I'm going to use the musky aldehydes today. I'm going to use the musky aldehydes today. This is the one. I spray all over there. It's, like, it's really cheap, you know what I'm saying? Make it look careful. Mmm, it smells so good. I think it's supposed to be the um flower. No, 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 no. Mark Jacob should be. Oh my god. We're going to do some of that. And then we're going to do just a little bit of oh, papyrus. Is right now I'm getting low on papyrus. Put some right there. There, for the little hints. I'm going to put on my old school favorite dress. Look at that, independent woman. <sighs> when my hair is permed, that's the only time my edges lay slick. And that is something I'm going to miss when I go back natural is having these sleek ass edges because they just it just does something for your look and you guys know when I wear off my uh, my natural hair my edges are usually always fuzzy every once in a while I might I might do some real hard work to get them together but for the most part you know, they is gonna do what they do they'll be nappy boo boo Oh my god, dudes, I made beans yesterday for dinner. Beans that look beef with, oh, it's pork, pork ribs. And 
I have a sleep. I fell asleep because it was late by the time they were done, but they weren't even all the way done. And I ate them anyway. I don't know what the hell that is. Look. But we don't know what it is. And let's see. Here we go. I didn't put together. Let me go put some jewelry in. No, it's just earrings. Too much. Too much. Here's just some earrings. Alright, got my hand. Okay. Yeah. Keep it white closely. I'm gonna try this thing right here. I'm gonna put these in right here. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Did I show you guys all, my, all the jewelry that my coworker gave me? I think I told you about it. I'm pretty sure I did. She came in. Yeah, I told you. She came and gave her body a bag of jewelry. And then the next day, or the, like two days later, she brought me another bag filled with bracelets. She's so sweet. There we go. No makeup today. I don't think I'm going to put some, uh, if I can find my butter lip gloss, I'll put some butter lip gloss on. Today, right now, I don't look as dark as I feel like I look during the day. I'm supposed to be like blacker than a motherfucker. Mm, I don't think I've been out in the sun. I could have sworn yesterday I was just talking about how dark my skin gets during the summer and I'm looking and it's not, it's, it's, mm, mm -mm. I need, I need more sun. I need, I need that blackness, like that super dark, you know what I'm saying? Like, are my hands darker? I think my hands are different colors. Yes, my hand, this is a darker hand. But no, darker than that. I need deep dark. I'm about to sunbathe. I gotta be out in somebody's sun because, yeah, we need to get blacker before the summer's over. And I'm done. I might see you in the car. I don't know. We'll see because sometimes I like to. Talk on the phone with Letitia. That's our that's our talking time, but she has a new job, so things is different. It's pinching on her. Alright. those beans up I had a I had a what do you call I couldn't eat all the beans either there's still a bunch left and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking bites for the rest of the day I also have some cherries and some grapes so I'll probably eat the grapes and leave the cherry oh maybe should, I don't know which ones I should eat which ones will go bad first I don't know maybe I'll just eat half and half in fact that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna eat half of the grapes and half of the cherries and call ourselves a day. Where am I going? I, I want to take a picture. 
somewhere for the thumbnail because I told you guys I'm gonna start doing that. There's nothing, where? Do we got like a nice area right here? I need, what I'm looking for is open, open area. And then I can take, my, take a picture of myself from a distance. That's what, that's what I'm thinking about. But from, but where? But where? I don't wanna go far either. I wanna just be around here. Let's see if we can do it, you guys. Okay, so listen. Um, I have still have not gone into detail about like all my woes, and we pro and I probably won't because like who wants to talk about that? Like, if anybody is interested in knowing what I'm going through, go ahead and write down below and tell me, and I will share that. But if you guys come here for like my mo mostly, I think I'm mostly happy. So if you're here for my my happiness and my joy and my like up vibe, then gonna keep it like like that we don't need to know all the nitty gritty other stuff but look so check this out so i don't i hope you guys can hear me well oh my air conditioner is working again sometimes the blower just goes out and it has been out all summer okay i'm lying it hasn't been out all summer but it was out for a couple of weeks and and now it's back yes come on baby don't tell me it's not back i'm just it's just the blowback I turn the fan on and I don't feel the air anymore. Okay, let's turn this way. Those little boxes, the the electricity, oh, you can't see it. The electricity boxes, that would be a nice little place to take a picture, I think. All rustic, maybe on a bridge. Can I, can I pull that out? Probably not. We're passing by the apartments I lived in when I was eight and nine and I think 10. Such a memory. They look completely different. They tore down the, they tore down the, uh, the play, the playground that used to be there, and then the, um, the back porch, the patio used to have a gate. They took the gate down. I wonder if I can't turn you, so you're not gonna see it. Oh, this thing is hot. Uh, it put a bus stop in front of it. Maybe you can see it coming past. But that bottom unit right there was mine. And then on that hill right there, that was my bedroom. Actually, my bedroom changed from one side to the other. I don't know why they changed it either. But anyway, is school in? There is no school. I wonder if I can go up to this yard and take a picture. Let's go to Christensen, my old school. Um, but you okay, so listen. Feeling all joyous and good. Um, I was so mad and disappointed at too tall for a little bit but just today and it might be just because i'm feeling like euphoric you know it could be is this the stuff is this it i don't know we're gonna try it could be that um that you know i just i some good things are happening i don't know because nothing's happened i just got some interviews and i don't even know if that's what's put me in such a good a good mood but i feel really good and I feel really euphoric and happy and joyous. Like I feel real good, really. Maybe it was the fruit that I ate. Maybe I need to eat more fruit, I don't know. But I feel good. Um, but no, what I was saying about too tall is, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling, maybe it was just like a, a thing I was going through, but I'm not really mad at him anymore. So. Yeah, look at my old school. I remember walking that path. Oh, Mr. Newton, he was like 87 years old when he was my teacher. Maybe 70, he was 70 something years old when he was my teacher. And um, so he's he's long gone. It's been it's been 40 years. I mean, he could still be around. Where's the playground and stuff at? Oh, it's right there. Look at my old school. Why did I even come over here? I should have walked down there, but it's kind of, I'm not going to. I don't remember this side of the school at all. I guess I never went this way. No, that, so that's where all the teachers were parking? <laughs> that's where their cars were? <laughs> no idea. I had no idea. And I still haven't found anywhere to take a picture. Oh, 
I guess I'll have to do it after. Let me just go back to the office. Um, I'm not gonna smoke today because I don't wanna. But let's see what, what happens if I go this way. We're gonna explore back here. Never been back here before. I would love to live in it. I like older homes. I like older homes. I like the spot. I like new homes too. But I do like an older home that looks looks like it was built in like the 80s. Those give me, they just make me feel good. They, I guess it's probably the nostalgia. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but I do know that my head is itching. <sighs> and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I don't really have nothing much to talk about. Okay, I'm lying. There's always something to talk about. Always something to talk about. So we're going to talk about. Huh? I don't know. All I got on my mind right now is just like jobs, 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 working, working, working. Like I got a problem, you guys. The, and I know my. Pro I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. The problem is I need to be working for myself. But uh, everything that I plan on doing, just it just it's not something that I can do instantly. I told you the business that I started. I got funded for it. But it wasn't enough funding. So that's on pause, that's on hold. Once I gain some more some more funds, then I can do what it is that I need to do. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, once I can put my own money, I gotta put my own money into it. Or just keep on reaching out, trying to get more, more money, but that's not a guarantee, so. What the hell? Where am I going? Ooh, motherfuckers. I just did, I just spent the block and it didn't go nowhere. We're back at the office. Didn't go nowhere. But it was nice to see my old school and my old home. <sighs> All right, so, hold on, I'm about to pull out my phone and tell you guys the jobs that I've applied to. Oh, I took a big, I just can't believe the pay cut that I took. And what was I thinking? What made me think that it would be, I guess, sorry i guess because i thought too tall would be working maybe because i'm now i'm sitting here trying to figure out how it is that i thought that i was going to be able to survive off of this little bit of money me being it was just me being lazy we all know y'all know i y'all know i don't want to work i don't want to work and so i was trying to do like the most the most stress-free job that I could possibly do, and I thought that this was one, but I'm getting stressed, uh, you know, little pieces of stress here and there because, uh, like, if, like, the, the super boss, she'll come and she'll say something, and she'll say something, but she's only done it a couple times, but one thing, uh, I'm on my phone, you know, but the job gets done, but they question me about that. I don't like that shit, I'm not your child. You hired me to do a job. As long as the job is getting done, why are you worried about what it is that I'm doing at all? Like, I, that blows my mind. I don't care what you're doing if the job is getting done. I've been a supervisor. You know what I'm saying? I've been a boss. And I don't care. Be on your phone. Do whatever. Do what you do, however you do it, as long as the job is done. Like, feeling a little micromanagey to me. I don't like it. Um, when I'm on my breaks, if I'm in the office, it's like every time I'm on a break. Are you on a break? How much longer is your break? Like, why can't I just be on a break without you questioning me? I don't like being questioned. I'm a grown woman. I don't like that. It's strange to me. It's weird. And again, micromanagey. I don't like it. Um, and then I'm pretty sure she was coming. Uh, the, the big boss. I'm pretty sure she was coming and asking me what I have to do and telling me about the phone because those are my phone my I don't have access to the voicemail and there's like over 200 something voicemails on there but I've been going I got it fixed and I've been going over the voicemails today and um so there's 200 there was 280 voicemails and um I have gone through 20 of them so far and I'm almost done with July and my call should only be up until a little actually like the first the second the first and second week of June. Um, and so I'm thinking if there's only like 20 phone calls for me in July, it's probably only gonna be about 20 in uh, June. And so 
what's that 40 so there's going to be probably about a good 200 basically 200 more messages that ain't got nothing to do with me and what do you want me to do with those messages because i'm just going to delete once i get to june i think i'm going to delete the rest and let them know i just deleted them it's been months like if i haven't responded to them in months what what could i possibly be saying to them you know and it wasn't for me obviously the message wasn't for me so anyway so she came in and asked me about that and then um, asked me if I have anything to do. And it's like the beginning of the month. Don't you you know what you hired me for? So you know that I have a bunch of annuals. You know that me, well, maybe she doesn't know because she had no idea when I told her that me and I, my coworker are doing all of the, the rent increases. She's doing N through Z and I'm doing A through M. Um, and there are lots of them, okay? Lots of them, a lot of them, okay? Um, maybe, maybe a hundred, maybe, I don't know, but there's a lot of them. And so last month, that covered up, that me doing those DRIs, I did that for three weeks, constantly. Like, I wasn't fucking off or nothing, I was just working, getting them DRIs done, because I was worried, I wanted to get them done, and I was overwhelmed, and it felt like I was never going to finish, and I had animals to do too, so. <sighs> yes, I have shit to do. And so that made me feel a little funny, and then it's the clocking in. I don't like clocking in. I don't like that. We've talked before, you guys. We've talked before. And y'all know. In fact, you know what? I'm going to stop saying y'all. I'm going to just start talking to you like it's just you and only you. Because I'm pretty sure it's not a bunch of you watching at the same time, right? It's just you, right? Like, look around. Who you got with you? It's just you, right? Okay, so I'm going to just talk to you. I'm going to start talking to y'all. Like, come on come on so anyway girl um yeah clocking in i've talked to you before about my clock i i, I said it last i think i said it yesterday i don't believe that my time to get to work and my time to get home should be on my time that should be on your dime you know what i'm saying so i don't like that and then you can't clock in anywhere like otherwise i would clock in on my phone at work before i left i mean i worked before i left at home before i left to work and then i would clock back out when i got home from work right it's not possible annoying don't like that putting way too much time into something else so hmm. the last job look uh, again if the job is getting done it shouldn't matter so the last job you know in fact almost all the jobs that I've had um, I don't I don't work a full eight hours shift I think I may work I might work I work usually in between five to well, we'll say four sometimes four four to six hours a day um, yeah yeah Except for when I worked in Seattle. When I worked in Seattle, I didn't take off. Yeah, I did. I sure did. So yeah, that's what that's what I like to do. That's how I like to do it. This is my life. I'm I'm not built to give all my time for someone else's dream. I'm just not. And so I do what I can to make myself feel better about what it is that I have to do. And that's that. <laughs> um. All right, girl. And so let's see. What else? what else about the job the clocking in clocking out for lunch the fuck you mean i take an hour lunch and i do not clock out you're telling me that i have to clock out to fuel myself to do the job for you weird girl mm -mm, i'm over this shit i'm over it so we're gonna move on to the next oh let me tell you let me tell you what i found it's getting hot All right, so I found so far. All right, so Vision House is one. Mm -hmm. Should I be telling you? I'm not gonna tell you the place, just in case I get it. So one job is for, let's see what he says. Uh, diversion specialist. And I don't, I need to start writing down how much this stuff is so I know how much effort to put into these interviews. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? Like, so there was one, there was one job that I um, just interviewed for and it was for, uh, it was basically $27 an hour. So right there, I'm like, mm, I don't give a fuck. 
So they're like, okay, this job is for this this hours and this days and da da da. da. Um, are you able to? Nope, I'm not able to do that. Um, I'm sorry. Only I only have this day and this day and this day. So if you can work around that, then I can help you. Otherwise, and, you know, I don't want to waste your time. And it was like, oh no, we have uh, on call. And so I applied for it or whatever. We have on call. You can make your own shit. The only bad thing is that sometimes there's a lot of shifts and sometimes there's not any at all. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I applied and and I'll be doing that one until until I don't have to anymore until I don't have to like get extra jobs to fill up stuff so I can buy a bunch of stuff because girl I like to shop I like to shop I like to spend even if I don't have nothing that I want I could I love to go shop like I don't like the grocery shop but I love to shop but not too long but I love to shop even if it's online yeah okay so that's the thing I can shop I can shop all day online but I don't like going into stores. I get exhausted in stores shopping. Mhm. Mm I think cause I think I get stressed out about it. I don't know. Do I get stressed? Is that? Do I have anxiety about shopping in stores? My mama gave me anxiety about shopping in stores. I know it. That's what it is. Cause when I was little, I remember she would just be ah. Uh, she would have me out all day long. Oh my god. Oh my God, I would cry. I would be so sad. Like, mama, can we go home? Mama, can we go home? I wanna go home. Mama, I wanna go home. And then finally she wouldn't, she wouldn't listen talking about, okay, we're about to go, we're about to go. And I would just go limp. I'm done, my body is done. And I'm just, and she would tell me she's gonna beat my ass. And she would tell me she's gonna whoop me. And she would whisper in my ear, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> and I was dead, so what you gonna do? You gonna fuck up a dead girl? Cause I'm dead, I can't move. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to fuck me up like this. Cause. I'm not moving. And she would drag me out of the store. She would drag, it would, it would work. She would drag me out of the store. And then she would tap me on my butt and wasn't nothing. I didn't get whoopings. But she would be like, now why did you do that? What's that gonna do to me? What's that gonna do to me? That ain't put no fear in me. But we got out that goddamn store, did we mama? And so now, it's showing, that trauma is showing up in my adult life with me not wanting to go shopping. Ugh, but I like shopping. No, no, no. I like spending money. See, that's why I said I like spending money and not shopping. Big difference. So, I need lots of money to spend. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. Oh, I better deliver. <laughs> oh my God, I was about to say y'all again. Girl, look. I just got a text that the milk, I, the milk, hold up. Hold up, let me look. Oh, it doesn't say what I delivered, what I ordered, but the milk, the uh, burritos, the chips, and the um, little Debbie cakes that I got for the kids this morning to be delivered. I must, maybe I messed up, or or they couldn't deliver until now. But there was no milk for them to have cereal, and there's no other breakfast food in there except for sausage, um, and. Uh, uh, it's just now being delivered, so they'll be happy though. I know they didn't not eat all day long. All right, so anyway, let's talk about this. So this this job is for I don't remember. Now I gotta look back and see. Uh, vision. Mm -hmm. Darn it. Oh, 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 I know what to do. We'll go in here and we'll see Vision. Vision House. View the message. All right, so the Vision House pays. View the job. Up to $28 an hour, which is, okay, so it's low. And it's in Shoreline? Girl! Oh, uh-uh, I don't want that one. It's too far, I'm not going to Shoreline every day. So never mind on that. We're gonna, we're gonna do the interview just in case because we gotta get up out of here and we're gonna put that on the back burner when they offer me the job. So that, yeah. So anyway, next place is Let's see. 
eviction pre prevention specialist and this one pays damn $28 an hour Ugh. oh it says it's a time limited role until July 2024 hybrid optional oh okay so I can do hybrid for $28 an hour can be performed by clients or communicating on site work in Seattle choosing private work area with your life. okay cool oh shh I could do that I mean $28 is not going to help me very much at all but it's the time that I get back period that's worth gold so all right that's the that's the other and then the last one is the one that I, oh, I wish I don't know I, mean, I want the one where I can be at home um the last one is I forget what is it oh okay hold on okay is this what I applied to I don't think yeah this is it this one is 35 35 dollars of 40 starts at 35 47 at Plymouth oh that would be dope if, if this was hybrid you guys hold up now I'm kind of want I want wellsprings because I want to be able to be home that would help me so much they want a lot let me see I mean, for 35 though, I can be in, I can, I can do it for 35. Whoa. Available work 40 hours a week, including one weeknight late shift, 11 to 8. Oh, I can do that. No one needs to work on Thanksgiving, perhaps. All right, so those are the three interviews that I have. Vision House is a, a no-go. Let me write those, down, those prices down so I can remember pros and cons of these jobs. Let's do jobs. All right, Plymouth, $35 an hour. $35 an hour. Not $53, I wish. $35 an hour. And then, that's that. Let me go back inside. Let me go back inside. And now I'll I'll click out. I'll clock out for lunch now. And we are gonna clock out for about 20 minutes, cause if I remember, I'll be clocking out 40 minutes later and stuff. So I ended up not even still in no time. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Are you guys enjoying my uh my uh daily vlog so far? How's C August C August going? How is C August going? What do you think? Let me know. Tell me down below. Okay. Should I keep this up? Am I doing a good job? Tell me. Tell me what you think. And tell me what you want to see come Rosetober. Because that's coming. It's going to be every day too. It's not so difficult when you when you got a whole lot of footage to edit. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.